<laughs> Hello, gentlemen. How's it going this evening? Hi. Good. Yeah, nice meeting you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm um, coming from Toronto, uh, speaking to you from Toronto, Canada. So thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, Wes, let's start with you because, um, first of all, congratulations. The film is excellent. It is so good. Oh, thank Can you so much. About, um, my own ancestors coming over from Poland, you know, and also from Russia and just brought back so many memories of stories that were told to me when I was a little kid from my grandparents. Yeah. My parents. So I wanted to ask you, first of all, um, this started off as a short film. And then, of course, obviously grew into this great feature. What compelled you to kind of, you know, make it a bigger story to tell this on film? Yeah, so it actually, in a way, it happened the other way around. So I, I wrote the script around like nine years ago. And, you know, making a feature, indie feature in Seattle without any resources is so challenging. So it took me forever to try to get support, you know, and funding to get it made. Yeah. And like halfway through the process, I got a small grant to make a short. And I was like, I'm going to make a short documentary. Okay. And then ho hopefully it will help generate interest for you know to make the feature um because it's just easier easier sell because it's so much sure. easier to make and, and then you can show this 10 minute thing to potential investors and say this is the story this is what we're doing with it <laughs> um so yeah and that paid off you know I, I i wasn't sure if that was the right choice but it paid off because just the short did so well at festivals that it really generated buzz and you know, everywhere I went, I was like, no, I want to make the feature. That was the whole idea. I want to make the feature, help me make the feature, so. And there you go. And and then yeah. you find this amazing, I mean, Hirsch, I'm sorry. I'm going to call you a liar because there's no way that you never acted before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, I have a background in professional theater, but I've never done a film before or anything like that. Amazing. So tell me, first of all, what you think it was that caught Wes's eye that made you get this role? What do you think you did? I don't know. Um, uh, I was decent and he <laughs> was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, I think uh, it's hard to compliment yourself. Um, <laughs> Go for it, because you deserve it. Okay. I thought you did a good okay. job. Thank you. Um, I think that as an actor and as a person, um, I was definitely very naive to the world two okay. years ago. Um, and so I think part of that, um, I think part of that um, exploration came through in my performance. And I think that as I was learning more about the world that I lived in, cause I was like 13, right. Um, right. When, when I auditioned for the project, um, I was still learning a lot about the world. And I think that kind of helped me to transfer it pretty naturally over to my performance. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Okay, so now Hirsch, you tell me what it, it, Wes, I'm sorry, you tell me what you saw in Hirsch because obviously he's playing you as a young kid. So, you know, what triggered it to cast him? Yeah. Hirsch was amazing. It's funny, Hirsch is a big reason why we got the film made prior to COVID. Um, because we started, my producer Misha and I, we decided to start casting a kid earlier because we felt like it's going to take forever to find the right kid. You know, it's like, who knows if we'll ever find the right kid. Um, so we started auditioning and the kids surprised me. There were a lot of great kid actors, but Hirsch like instantly when, you know, he started reading, we were like both looking at each other like he's the one. Yeah. Like, there's no question about it. He was so uh, understated and nuanced and interesting on camera. And then there's like, in addition to being talented, I think there's a certain things that um, uh, like movie actors have to have. They have to have a certain, you know, we have that an special air about us. Air, yeah, special air about. Us. And he had that, like, he had that yeah. even like filming him on my iPhone. I was like, okay, the camera just loves him. Like, he's interesting on camera. So, we instantly like 
wanted him in the movie. And then we realized like, okay, we need to make the movie right away before he grows. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't, yeah, you don't want to miss that window of opportunity. So Hirsch, I'm wondering, because you have Wes there by your side, you're playing, you know, him as a kid. Um, how, you know, what was that like to have your director, uh, you know, like, is it intimidating? I mean, you're, you're in a lot of scenes. It's a lot of pressure. But then maybe you want to try to make it your own too. So tell me a little bit about the process of, of playing this role. Yeah, um, I think that um, definitely a lot of pressure. Um, I think that because um, my half of the film is sort of hyper stylized, um, I don't have to necessarily mirror everything he does. And that gave me a lot more freedom as the character. Right. Um, I think that we did try to find moments of connection. So I would like watch him during a rehearsal and try to pick up some mannerisms um, that he did. And also the second half of the film, uh, film before the first half. So I got to um, see some of the scenes that Tyler, the person who plays older potato did. Yes. Um, and I got to find like certain ways that we cope with similar situations. Um, there are two scenes in the film, um, one in my section and one in the other section where we both have to um, deal with, I guess, being I'm talking about something that we're uncomfortable about, com uncomfortable about and new to. Um, and so I think of finding similar moments where maybe Potato was initially shut off and then begins to explain himself more freely. So like finding ways to mirror similar psychological processes. Understood, yeah. Um, Wes, you know, obviously, we know that from a young age, you love movies and, and now you've parlayed it into a career, which is beautiful. What was the first movie that you saw, maybe even obviously in Russia, I guess, that made you love film so much? Gosh, it's hard to find one because I, you know, I've been obsessed with films. So my, I know the movie that really made us just crazy fall in love with like the idea of America is Curly Sue. Oh yeah, okay. Which, like, watching it now, you know, I've rewatched it in, as, as an adult. I was like, oh, my God, it's so cheesy. <laughs> but it really, you know, something about, like, the right film coming into your life at the right moment, and it really resonates. And, like, when I saw it as a kid, it just, like, really resonated that the story, the sort of Cinderella story of them, you know, coming from nothing and right. finding love and family and, uh, you know, and the tone of it, it just, like, it's kind of in the film that my mom is dating this guy who has a color TV. Right. And in real life, he also had a VHS VCR player. Yeah. And I remember like we literally me and my mom cried when he left and took the VHS player because Curly Sue, we couldn't watch Curly Sue anymore. Like we just loved that movie so much. It was just on repeat every day. <laughs> oh, that's funny that, yeah. I, listen, I remember doing the interviews for that movie. I go back a way a long really? time ago. Isn't Amazing. That funny? Yeah, I did, I did. And now she's a singer and, and she's like, it's crazy, right? How that, so there's a yes. lot of in there. Um, Hirsch, I wanna know from you, um, you, you know, you have a, you said you had a theater background, but are you a movie lover as well? Like, did you relate to Potato? Yeah, um, I think I love movies so much. And I think theater and movies are completely different worlds. Yes. And they feel like very different art forms. Um, in theater, you have like, so much time to explore. Um, and you have so much rehearsal time. And like, every performance, you get to go through the entire arc of the character and you get to explore that every night. Whereas in film, you have much less time and you have like maybe an hour of rehearsal. Um, and it seems much more stressful and um, time is a lot of money in film. Yeah. Uh, and then also you just have to like drop yourself into a certain scene where theater, you get to work through it more naturally. Yeah. In film, it's much more like, okay, and now you're gonna do this thing. Um, so it, Film is definitely, I think, a more challenging art form for me, but I I do love it. Um, and also its differences from theater in terms of storytelling. Right. Um, and I think playing with experimental theater and experimental film is really interesting. Oh yeah, for sure. Boy, you have a long career ahead of you. Now you can pick and choose <laughs> what you want to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, look at you. Um, to wrap it up, I, I, you know, Wes, I'm, I'm wondering, obviously and clearly, you have a, always have had an amazing relationship with your mom. 
and her story bringing you to America is, it, it's truly fantastic. I want people to discover okay. this and I don't want to give it away in the interview. What was your mother's reaction when she saw this film? She loved it. She was really touched. Um, she kind of avoided seeing it in pieces because I was actually editing it at her house. So she would avoid like seeing clips and stuff. Sometimes I would be tempted to show her to get her opinion. She, she, she said, I really want to see it like in the theater with people when it's all done. Yeah. So she's had a wonderful experience. She, the first time she saw it was actually in Deauville at the festival in Deauville. Yeah. So that was a very special, I'm so glad that she waited to have this very special festival experience. Yeah, well, now she probably people will think she's a star, right? Because, you know, she's so focused in this film. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really a love letter to my mom, the whole yes. film. It's kind of a love letter to moms everywhere, like good moms everywhere. <laughs> yeah, good moms everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 I count myself as one of those. So thank you. <laughs> well, congratulations to the two of you. Like I said, it's so wonderful. It's such a beautiful film. I loved it so much. And, and Hirsch, I think you're going to be a big star. Are you ready for this? You know, can you have I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> okay, stay home. So yeah, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Stay grounded, okay? That's the most important thing, for sure. That's, that's the mom and me telling you what to do, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. I appreciate thank it. You, thank yeah, you, Bonnie. Thank you so much you for so having much. us. Take care. Have a good night. Okay. Bye-bye. You too.